Hi, this is Keith with Total Sealed Piston Rings, and welcome back to the second part of our video about light tight and good board geometry. So, you've worked with your machine shop, you've spent all the time, you really think you got good straight round bores. Well, you know what? We need to make sure that we're producing truly round, light tight rings. And you heard that word tossed around, but let me show you what we're talking about. This right here, we have a console of different light tight boxes. You can actually build one of these at home if you're feeling pretty adventurous. You could build a single unit, multiple units. We do different types of light tight testing out here in the shop, actually in the light. We have dedicated dark rooms where there's no ambient light. Uh, we actually have one fixture set up with a Nikon video microscope looking for that light that the human eye cannot detect. But here's the basics of how it works. We've got the outer collar, piece of plexiglass, the shaft or the stud sticking up that's going to allow us to pull and square that ring up. So we've got this, it's got a light in it, but here's where it gets a, a little bit more complicated. We've got, in this particular one, I believe, yep, that's a mercury master gauge. This particular one's four inch 315. These are ground, they're not honed. They're certified to the million, truly a round gauge. So we're gonna take this gauge, we're gonna mount it into the fixture Then we've got the tool that's actually gonna square the ring so we can make sure it's perpendicular. It's also gonna block out any of the ambient light that's coming through here that would make it almost impossible to see. You've got so much light coming, we're just looking for those little peripherals of light. And I've got all this light coming at me, I wouldn't be able to see what I'm looking for. So we're gonna take this tool, we're gonna slide it over the shaft, let it slide down to the bottom. Then we're gonna take our ring, 4315, 4.315 bore ring. We're gonna take that ring, we're gonna put it in the light tight gauge, push it all the way down, and then we're gonna slide it up slightly just to make sure everything's nice and squared within the light tight gauge. I can see a little bit of light right through the end gap and absolutely zero light around the perimeter of that mercury gauge. That, as easy as that looks, Takes a little bit of equipment to do it, but this assures that what we're sending out the door is 100% light tight. And I'm gonna show you in just a few moments, a few little tricks about how you can simulate this and actually check the rings in your cylinder. showed you out in the shop how we actually do light tight inspection here at Total Seal Piston Rings. But I want to show you a little trick that you can do at home in your engine. Now you've done all the work, you've worked with your machine shop, really we're confident those bores are straight and around. But let's say you want to check it in your engine. Well again we're back to if the cylinders in your engine are out around we're going to get a false test. But you know, we're real confident, we, we spent the time, we spent the money, we know the cylinders are good. So what we're going to do is we can take that ring that we've got here and, oh, let me get this engine block up here. Oh my God, it's so heavy. I can barely do it. Uh, here I've got my Nicosil coated aluminum Ferrari cylinder. Uh, not so heavy. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we're simply gonna take that ring, we're gonna place it in the cylinder, and we're gonna square it up. Now in this particular case, I've got a nice little flat top piston. I'm gonna use that as kind of a ring squaring tool. Slide her down into the bore. I'm confident the ring's nice and light tight. I've got her in there, I squared her up. Now we can, if you had this nice lightweight cylinder, uh, we can take it, we can hold it up to the sun and we can look for any peripheral light around the edge of that ring between it and the cylinder. Or if I've got my handy dandy bright LED light, I can do the same thing. The issue with doing this is I've got all this light coming through this hole. It's kind of hard to see. The little trick that I found quite some time ago, and I'll show it to you right now, is this. We're gonna take that ring. We're actually gonna mount that ring, just the one ring that we wanna check on the piston. And keep in mind, I'm not a ring compressor, but we're gonna do our best job. We're gonna take that. Wow, look at that, first shot. And it, Actually, it's pretty good ring seal because I'm really leaning on this thing. I can hear the air coming out. I now have the ring on the piston and I can do the same thing. I can take a bright light 
something a little bigger than this, a nice floodlight, I can put it on the bottom side, and if there is any light coming between that ring and that cylinder, you're gonna see it. It's gonna stare at you just like that does. So the center of the piston's blocking out the light that's easily coming through. You can simply look right around that edge, and that's a nice handy dandy way to light tight test the rings in your engine. And let me just suggest it to you. Not only is it a great thing to do going in new, it's really good coming back apart. You know how many times we've spoken about disassembly diagnostics, really looking at everything. Light tight testing the rings coming out of the engine is very, very important. It tells us a lot about what's going on. Are the rings still nice and light tight? Tells me my tune-up's good. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't quote unquote made it mad. So light tight testing, very important part of engine assembly and disassembly diagnostics. I hope you find this useful. Stay tuned. We're going to have more tech tips coming to you. I want to say that 10 times fast. More tech tips coming to you real soon.